Welcome to Innovations. I'm Ed Begley, Jr. It has been said that no industry is more readily associated with the development of technology and innovation than the aerospace and defense industry. Learn more next. Today, command and control systems, also called C2 systems, are used to manage the vast amount of information that is received and transmitted by the modern military commander. The command control system is uh, the people, process, and technology that's required to uh, implement uh, air, space, ground, naval forces, and uh, whatever the mission happens to be at that time. Commands and mission statements come down, and the information upon which those commands and mission statements are based is accrued and passed up the line. So we have a, a two-way channel in command and control. Computer simulations are used to help train Z2 operators. So in any given battle situation, if you have a real battle going on, there's real information feeds coming to the command and control system, obviously, right? In a situation where you're trying to train folks, you have to have that, we, it's, a lot of people use the term synthetic environment. You have to create the realism that would be there if they were really in a situation performing that mission against an adversary for real. So simulations are used to create that synthetic environment for the military to be able to do training. The training is not just critical, I think we could all assume easily it would be critical. The training is indispensable. Without training at each level and on each system, the command and control systems, that system of systems that supports command, would fall apart. Most C2 system operator training currently is provided at large institutional training centers. The military has a vision for embedded command and control system operator training. The military is attempting to take the approach in its modernization for C2 operator training of being able to place the training support right down at the unit and in the identical equipment that the C2 operators use every day. So the military is attempting to do what we call move from institutional or remoted training down to embedded training. Turney Incorporation, located in Huntsville, Alabama, provides simulations to militaries and corporations around the world using its simulation framework called FLAMES. Turing is a provider of commercial off-the-shelf computer simulations, which are computer programs that simulate the activities of people and equipment interacting in complex real-world situations. All of our simulations are built using FLAMES, our simulation and modeling framework. Flames has been used over the years on hundreds of different simulation projects, including command and control system trainers. It's this experience combined with the framework itself that allows us to build very efficient and highly automated simulations. Turnian is helping the military realize its vision for embedded command and control system operator training. What makes our simulations innovative is that they allow the training to be deployed to the actual CPRI operator station. The current simulations that are out there today require many computers and lots of people to operate them, which means they have to be housed in some dedicated training facility. Because our simulations can run on just one computer and run with just a few number of operators, our simulations are actually embedded with the actual C4I system. Turnian's embedded training simulations dramatically improve the quality and greatly reduce the cost of training. If we deploy the simulation system with the actual command and control system, now you can stimulate the command and control system, you know, as needed uh, for whoever's needed. And they can train while they're using the system that they would normally use for real operations. It's pretty easy to imagine that that training not only becomes more frequent, and probably a richer training experience, but it also becomes much more flexible because you can, by changing scenarios down at the individual unit, you can broaden the base, the operational base and comfort level of that operator much more quickly and much more efficiently in terms of not having to put him on travel orders or line up with some arbitrary school seat availability date. You can save training costs by training operators in the field where they are because you won't have to deploy them to those specific training centers and you won't have to stand up that, that training infrastructure, that simulation infrastructure that goes with it. Turnian currently provides embedded training solutions to the Air Force, Marine Corps, and NATO. One of Turnian simulations, known as the PTT, 
is used to train operators in the Air Force Air Operations Centers around the world. The Command and Control Weapon System, PARTAS Trainer, what we like to refer to as PTT, is a simulator that allows AOC operators to apply their skills to different environments. I like to consider it network gaming on steroids. It allows us to dial up the intensity from high, medium, and low to get a realistic experience of what our adversary forces may show us in a real world scenario. In this time of ensuring a lean yet effective military force, PTT provides an opportunity for AOCs to have organic training through its small footprint in both systems and manpower, which allows for the Joint Force Commander mission accomplishment. Turnian's innovations are helping to define command and control system operator training for the future. And they're innovative and their simulation design has been very innovative. It's very easily adaptable and very easy to connect to the command and control systems. With all the advances in technology, PTT will play a critical role in allowing commanders to assess the effectiveness of not only the systems, but the people that work within the air operations centers of the future. We hope to see the day when every command and control system has access to an embedded simulation training capability. We believe our simulations demonstrate that this is possible, and we believe we're leading the way toward that goal. For more information, visit www.turnian.com.